We have had crews in Wayne all day surveying that damage they're left from an early morning tornado Mike just told us about. News 4's Nick Camper is in McLean County with the very latest. Nick. Yeah, we're outside of the house that took the brunt of the damage. There's some activity behind me. You might see there's a lot of cleanup still going on. We talked to the emergency manager of McLean County. He said outside of this area, the town was pretty lucky. He says there were no reported injuries or deaths. We actually really got blessed. It could have been a lot worse. At around 5.30 this morning, a tornado blew through parts of Wayne, a town in McLean County. We did have a home that actually was totally demolished, one that lost its roof. And we're finding now, just on the outskirts of town, that we've got about eight or nine homes that some larger trees have fallen on them. The McLean County Emergency Manager, Ron Johnson, says an oil tanker was knocked over, but crews were on scene quick enough to contain the spill. Throughout the town of roughly 700 people, OG&E crews fixed power lines trying to restore the power that was lost to all of the residents. Wayne Public Schools told students to stay home today because of the loss of power. They released a statement saying, It is the Wayne Public School intention to provide notice to our parents as early as possible today about whether school will be open tomorrow to allow parents enough time to make alternative plans for child care should they need. For folks looking for help with downed trees in their yard or on their homes, the Southern Baptist Disaster Relief will have teams going around working for free. The assessors come and they talk to family members and let them know that we'll help take care of their damaged trees and get that off their tr houses and out of their driveways and move those trees at no charge. The Johnson says that the power should be restored any time now off camera. You may hear some ambient sound. That's OG&E. They're still fixing some power lines. And if you want to do any donations of any kind, the Red Cross has got a relief center set up at the heart of Wayne at the First Baptist Church. They are taking any type of donation. They also have water and food available for anyone that needs it. Live in Wayne, Nick Camper, Oklahoma's News 4. Thanks, Nick. The uh, Red Cross and the Baptist folks down there are always doing a great job. All